Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tutorials for 5M. Today we're going to be doing Fisherman. Now, I also have a new mic, so please do let me know how this is going. And I can hear myself when I'm talking, so if I start uh, slowing down or stuttering, my own voice is like messing up my thought process. So it's just something to uh, keep in mind. But yeah, so we're doing Fisherman today, as this is another sort of tutorial for first starters. So we've come to the job center, which is the orange suitcase symbol. And we need to step on this orange circle and select Fisherman from the menu. Once we've done that, we can head over to the uh, boat shop. Oh, that's loud. There we go. We can head over to the boat shop, which is here in the sort of bay area. The white symbol would be anchor, and that's where we need to go first. Now, as with most of these tutorials, I do already have the first vehicle that we're going to be using. So, going to the shop is just to show how you will get the boat to begin with, and then we'll head to the garage so that I can pick up my one. The fishing skill is actually quite profitable, but it can also be quite a long process, especially if you have a large inventory or one of the larger boats. It can take quite a while to fill up that inventory. This new mic is also very sensitive, so most likely you're going to hear every little noise that I make. So. Uh, again, please just let me know if there's anything too loud. But, so here we are at the watercraft dealership. So we need to enter here, go to boats, and then we want... Drop these radios. Then we want the first dinghy, two seats, 150 kilograms. Now as you can see, this boat is not cheap. But, you do not have to have your own boat to do fishing. You can just steal one of the boats in the harbour. So, this will be an option for someone who wants to become a really serious fisher. But, I already have that boat, so we're going to head over to the garage. And this is actually my car, and it's uh, here from earlier. But we're going to head over to the watercraft garage which is just on the other side of the uh, bay area and we'll grab my boat and then we'll head out to the fishing area so yeah if you don't want to buy a boat or you can't afford it yet just grab a boat from the harbour just grab any old one I mean, it will limit you to only using your inventory storage, which might be a bit annoying, but until you can afford the boat, that's your only option, really. So, we have boats, and I'm going to grab the dinghy one, which is the first boat. There we are. Right, so now that we've got the boat, we can head off to the fishing spot, which is this symbol. So, all we need to do now is drive over there. The water is a quite choppy at the moment because of the uh, weather settings but even when it's calm you'll still get quite a lot of waves and they can slow you down. I'm 
Okay, so when we get to the fishing spot, which should be quite soon, we need to anchor the boat so that it doesn't drift back out of the circle before we're done. And that is done by pressing the period key once you're out of the driver's seat. Because usually the period key changes the radio station. But obviously we don't want to do that, we want to anchor the boat. So we'll get it right in the middle. Then we exit and we press the period button and the boat is anchored, sort of floating because we were on a wave. But it's anchored in the circle so now we can fish. So to do fishing you need to press E which will bring out the rod and we need to wait for a fish to bite which brings up a mini game. There we are. So this red bar as you can see when it hits the ends it turns green and you need to hit E again when it goes green. Like that. There we go, so we caught a mackerel. Now there are different types of fish you can catch, and I think, as far as I'm aware, your level will correlate to how likely you are to get the better fish. But essentially, we just need to sit here and catch fish until our inventory is full up, and then if you have the boat, you can also fill up the boat's inventory. And I will show, I mean, by the time you can afford this boat, you probably know how to use the end menus, but I will still show how to do it as well. So we're just going to catch a couple because I'll be here all day if I have to fill up my inventory. But we'll get a couple more and we'll put them in the boat. Although before you put them in the boat, it is probably a good idea to uh, turn them into meat because when you sell fish, you don't actually sell the fish itself. You sell the fish meat and that can be done in the inventory. So we use the M menu, we come to inventory, and then you can see we have fish cod, fish mackerel, and fish scythe. So we need to select the fish, and then we can gut all fish into, into meat. So we do it for the cod, and that gave us 184 fish meat, as you can see on the side. And that is where the quality of the fish changes your reward. So the better fish, the more fish meat you'll get from it. So we will continue gutting all these. As you can hear my uh, keyboard, it's quite loud, so apologies for that. But there we go, so we've gutted all the fish. And we now have 421 fish meat. Now fish meat is sold at the red house symbol with an anchor. So that is where we're going to be heading now. But before, as you can see right now, we're still floating. We can't move. So before you get in the boat, you need to press zero again to re-move the anchor. Now that that's gone, we can head over to the fishing water. And in fact, if you want to, as I said before, if you want to put it in the boat, you just use the M menu, go to car or vehicle inventory, access trunk, and then put all. And that will place all of the stuff that we had in the trunk. But for this, uh, considering I haven't even filled up my inventory, we might as well leave it in there to make selling it easier. So, we, because of where the fishing porter is, we do have to go around Los Santos International, which makes this journey a bit longer. There are also, obviously, other places to sell the fish and other spots to catch the fish, but this is the one closest is to the boat shop, so this is probably the one that most people are going to do first. There is also, I don't think it's secret anymore, but there used to be a secret location for catching really big stuff like sharks and whales. And that is an oil rig in the top 
top left hand corner of the map. Uh, we'll have a look in a minute to see if it is visible on the map. I believe it is now because they made the oil rig a business. But we can check that once we have sold this fish. actually been hit by a plane along this section before. Somebody screwed up their landing sequence and dropped their plane on me, which is a bit rude. There's a plane there doing some funky maneuvers. Now we need to go around this uh, custom uh, runway as well, because the importer is... Well, I mean, you don't have to, but the importer is over here, the fueling station and repair point is here. So, we will head down there, and we can either, obviously, go right if you need fuel, or we can go left if we want to go to the cellar. There we go, so the cellar is just to the right of this uh, boat shed. Here we are. So we can sell a thousand, a hundred, or ten fish meat because it, they know that you're getting a lot of it, so they're not going to make you do it ten or one at a time. We'll sell it in hundreds. So there we go. Sell the meat. Nice bit of money made. So how much did we get? So for a hundred fish meat, you earn $10,000. So just for those, what, five fish that I caught, I've earned $40,000 and I've still got some left over. We've got another 21. So because they don't do times one, we can't sell that one, but we should be able to sell the rest once the uh, menu comes back up. I have to move quite far back, I believe. There we go. So we can sell the 10. And there we go, we made another 2,000 off of that last 20 fish meat. But that is a nice and simple tutorial to fishing. Now, the oil rig, as a last mention, I believe, it is up in the top left. Yes, there we go. So the oil platform, it's become a business that you can buy, but that is also where these uh, secret fishing point is now it still seems to be a secret fishing point because they haven't put the red marker there but you can fish there and catch larger items but unless you're quite high level it's very unlikely that you'll get anything good so to begin with you're better off sticking to the normal fishing points but anyway that is the end of this tutorial Thank you for watching, if you found it useful please do leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials on Transport Tycoon.